Superfly's. Hey now, Superfly is 187 coming at you today with a video on how to get an open NAT type for your Xbox One and PS4. So uh, this is just a video, a quick video I made that basically a lot of people I meet and a lot of friends have restricted NAT types or strict NAT types or moderate NAT types and I'm getting sick of it. They're joining parties, they're getting kicked out, uh, they can't join your game lobby. And, um, you know, basically uh, it's for Black Ops 3. I know a lot of you are playing Black Ops 3 right now, but um, a lot of you are doing it incorrectly. Now, if you go into the COD start menus, um, you can go to networks and you, it'll say right there or it'll say right at the bottom of your screen when you load the game up. It'll say you got an open NAT type or closed. If you have an open one, great. This video isn't for you. If you have a strict or moderate, hopefully this video can help you out and uh, give you that open NAT type, which is the preferred way of playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on next-gen console. On any console, any, any game you want to open NAT type, trust me. It'll just make things better for you and everyone you're playing with. So first of all, you want to get your router settings. Uh, if you don't know how to get into your router settings, you might have to look up the IP address for the router, or you might have to call your internet service provider. Basically, it'll just be in the address bar, like where you type in www. It'll be like 192.168.blah, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to tell you mine, but uh, you want to basically set up a static IP for your Xbox One and your PS4. Now as you can see here, I got one and two. One is the Xbox One, two is the PS4. You gotta grab their MAC address from the PS4 and the Xbox One. That'll be in the network settings. You'll find it, don't worry. And you gotta add a static IP, whatever that says, add new static lease. You gotta click on that button and add that MAC address in and assign it a static IP. Now your, your ISP service provider can help uh, with this if you don't know how to do this uh, but moving on we'll get to the next step here if you can't do that or if you can so uh, next one is really easy uh, we got the universal plug and play it's right next to the static uh, IP thing um, UPNP is what you're looking at and this is universal plug and play you want to enable this shit uh, I got this thing on this one's a net T state now I have no idea what it means but trust me it helps you want the universal settings enabled for your NAT type and again this will make things easier for you uh, some some ISPs will say oh that's all you need no it's not true because if you just have this you're still gonna have a moderate NAT type it might go from strict to moderate which is good but you want it to go all the way to open we want to take this all the way positive okay so moving along here we have the the tedious part oh my god this part is a nightmare anyway <laughs> so as you can see here i have it set up for xbox 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 all the way down to ps4 and i forgot one xbox at the bottom so i threw it in basically this is the port forwarding part okay now again you can get your tech support your internet tech support to do this i've hidden my static ips but you see i got threes and fours threes xbox one fours ps4 okay so um, basically you got to click on add new rule um, might be a different thing there but you're gonna you're gonna add something new to yours and it's going to say um, what uh, what IP you're gonna type in the static IP address you've named you're gonna call it Xbox or PS4 whatever you got and then you're gonna give a start and end port and then you're gonna select whether it's TCP UDP or both now uh, I'm just going to run through them quickly with you here and uh, if, if you're having problems with this step again your internet tech I'm not an internet tech I'm just trying to help you guys some of you guys are just like refuse to look into it or change it but it's annoying it's annoying for your friends it's annoying for your teammates it's annoying for everybody so get this shit straightened out uh, I'm going to run through this real quick with you Xbox One we got uh, 53 start, 53 end, and that's for TCP and UDP. Um, and I'm not sure this is for Black Ops 3 as well. I kind of mix them in there because that's the only game that I'm really playing right now. Um, some new games will have different ports as well. You'll have to look into it, and I'll give you a, a website at the end to look up any single game in the world, any console that you can do. Anyway, um, next one, 3074 and it ends at 3076 and this is also for TCP UDP we have 500 
for UDP. We have 3544 for UDP. We have 4500 for UDP. We have 88 for UDP and maybe the most important 80 for TCP. Now when you're doing these you want to make sure to click enable. Uh, this is again for the Xbox one. You want to click enable and um, make sure you fill in the proper static IP address. I've mentioned that and make sure you're calling it Xbox so you can see it in this screen and you could come. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That looks okay. All right. Great. Now again, uh, your internet tech will uh, will be less than happy to do this for you, but they will do it for you. All you gotta do is give them the information or tell them to go to this website I'm going to give you at the end of this video. Um, moving on to the PS4, we have uh, 3478 to 3480, and that's TCP and UDP. Uh, 27,000, well, that's a big one, to 27,050, and that's TCP UDP. Uh, 4379 to 4380 TCP UDP, and 3074 TCP UDP. See, they're very similar to the Xbox, except for that 27,000. 3074, again, pause it if, you, uh, if you're having problems keeping up. Of course, I'm going a little quick here. I want to keep the video at a minimum. Uh, moving on to the TCP for PS4, we have 443 TCP, 80 for TCP, that's that important one again, and 1935 for TCP. Again, uh, these will, um, if you have a, a cheap modem, a cheap router, like, like I'm using right now, you might have to switch from back and forth if you got both. If you only have one or the other, then just keep them active and it's all good and you'll have open all the time. I always do. I don't know why people have such problems with this. But anyway, um, I am Superfly is 187 uh, Again, thanks for checking out my video. Here is the, the, the site that helped me out big time. It's called portforward.com. If you can zoom in there and see, it's got everything you need for Xbox One, PS4, Black Ops 3. It'll walk you through it. You can find your router, your modem, and uh, and you know go step by step. If my didn't my video didn't help you out, but again, thanks thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Peace.